Well, Stuart Spencer is here today, and uh, you all know him from Advanced Ear Care. How you doing? I'm doing terrific, Ken. Good, good. And you brought along with us um, Stu's uh, hearing news, and we're going to talk about this in just a moment. Right. But first, we want to talk about uh, you were down in uh, Peru. I remember last time you were on. You were going to uh, go down there, I think, just like the next day or the day after. Right. And uh, tell us about that. Uh, you know, it was a fantastic experience. Um, I got a call, you know, kind of uh, just a few days before, and uh, they needed some help down there. There's an organization called the Starkey Hearing Foundation, and basically, you know, they go around the world and uh, fit children and adults, you know, with hearing aids that can't afford them, uh, including, you know, all across the United States. So, uh, flew down to Peru um, after some flight delays, that type of thing. Got in there the next morning. We went over and fit. Um, 1,015 people with uh, hearing aids in three days. Wow. You know, there was, it's incredible the way they have this organized. They're, they have a ground crew there before that does all the testing and shoots the ear impressions of the ear. And basically, you know, there's just a wow. long line of people. You know, we check their ears. There's doctors there to look in their ears if there's any medical issues, mm -hmm. you know, to give them clearance. And then, uh, uh, you know, they line up and they come in and uh, we do the fittings. And oh my gosh, you know, it's really a powerful experience. You know, oh, these little nice. children that, uh, you know, I've never heard before. Mm -hmm. You know, we have older people. Uh, I say older, you know, the younger um, or, or middle-aged children, you know, like 8 to 13 years old that really haven't heard or haven't developed speech real well. Uh, you know, you turn those hearing aids on, I mean, you know, their eyes light up like a Christmas tree. They're just, yeah. <gasps> you know, it's that just like great. such an amazing event. Very it was really good. powerful. Uh, you also... Uh, you were, you were talking about that you've, you've done things like this in the past, am I right? Uh, uh, going other places or different Yeah, we've done it for years, you know, yeah. I mean, I've been to El Salvador and uh, Tijuana, Palm Springs, Minneapolis in July. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we talked about that the last yeah. time we were here at the Major League uh, That's uh, right. Baseball All-Star uh -huh. Game. You know, I had just been to one, uh, but this was a fairly large one, uh, you know, much larger uh, in numbers. Uh, so, you know, the impact is just terrific. You know, the, the Rotary's there, we got to meet the governor of uh, Costco, you know, and, you know, he was there and we got to do some fittings and show him kind of what we do. So he was really happy that, you know, that they were teaming up with the Starkey Hearing Foundation and, you know, helping that to happen. Very good. We have on the screen here, a Consumer Guide to uh, Better Hearing. And uh, tell me about this and if somebody wants to pick one of these up, where can they get one? Sure. You know, uh, I wrote this and, uh, you know, basically, you know, there's a lot of people out there that don't know what to do if they think they have hearing loss. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't, you know, they hear pretty well one on one and, you know, they do pretty good and they think, geez, well, why would I need a hearing aid, you know? Uh, but when they get into crowds or a group or maybe a restaurant or a meeting situation, you know, they really struggle to hear well. So this consumer guide just kind of walks them through and just shows them the steps they can go through to kind of evaluate their hearing and just see exactly, you know, how much better they can hear and come in and, uh, you know, get a, a a listening demonstration so you know with no pressure or obligation and just kind of see you know exactly how much better they can do with hearing aids. Very good. Uh, you know I was uh, uh, wondering you talk about hearing aids and the technology how far it's gone with Bluetooth we, we know you were talking about the iPhone app and Android right. app I'm sure and all that. Uh, when did hearing aids first come about? Weren't they about like 1920s, 1930s or something like that? The very <sighs> basically an amplified hearing device, other than, you know, the... The, the shell with the... the yeah, yeah, the shell, the cone and <laughs> yeah. things like that. You know, um, it's an interesting question. You know, I, I've gone back, you know, I actually have a, a little window box, you know, of hearing aids that go all the way back. And, or maybe even Edison, I don't know. Yeah, right. You know, and uh, that's exactly right. You know, they go back, the real, you know, archaic kind of hearing aids had kind of a, an acid battery that they strapped to their leg, mm -hmm. then a big amplifier, then just the old headphones that yeah. they put on. Yeah. You know, when I bought this business uh, over here at Advanced Ear Care 32 years ago, uh, I had a, a lady employed there that had worn one of those, you know, wow. so she had one, so I, I kept it as a, an antique. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, they've just kind of developed, you know, the transistor was really a huge thing yeah. for hearing aids. And, and so that really allowed them to minimize the size of them to where they could get them in a relatively uh, usable size, not mm -hmm. small compared to today's standards, but they could start to put them on the ear and uh, wear them, you know, and that was uh, in the late 40s. And then in the 50s, you know, things just, you know, kind of have developed ever since. Yeah, and of course nowadays, 
with Bluetooth and everything else. It's oh, just it's amazing. incredible. Yeah. And these little chips, you know, the silicone chips that are in there, I mean, are literally just a speck of your, the size of your little finger. And, uh, you know, they're 16, 20, 24 channels. They're, they're just like little digital equalizers is really what they are. Yeah, I think what's, what's kind of uh, nice about this, this field and other fields that are similar, is that a lot of this technology is not just coming out from the direct research for hearing aids, but companies like Google and things like that are all working yeah. in different kinds of technologies like this that um, is just fascinating, just as in experiments, because let's face it, they have the billions to just go yeah. ahead and, yeah, we'll hire all these people, let's just see what happens here. Yeah. And they can do that. Yeah. And uh, as we've seen, these technologies are being advanced by not just the hearing aid companies, so to speak, but by the tech companies in general, and it's wonderful. Yeah, you know, I mean, they pair up and use, you know, uh, common technologies, you know, mm -hmm. that are pretty uh, standard across those boards, you know, whether it's in a telephone or a hearing aid or uh, any other kind of device you may have, you know, a yeah. pacemaker or anything that really works, you know, electronically. So, you know, they share a lot of those technologies. I know, uh, uh, you know, many of the manufacturers, you know, spend a lot of money, you know, in, in trying to team up with those companies. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as I mentioned, you know, Starkey teamed up with Apple and, uh, really, you know, uh, set a new standard for, you know, communication through the hearing device. Yeah, it's great. All right, Stu's News. Let's hear about this. Stu's Hearing News. And uh, <laughs> this is something, is this a new? No, fairly, or you, you know, uh, we've uh, run this for four years. You know, we send it to all of our uh, patients and uh, people that are just interested in hearing or hearing aids and hearing loss uh, for the last four and a half years. Um, so people receive it, you know, monthly, you know, we have a story about my dog Buddy in there that, you know, everybody always likes to read and everybody remembers Buddy, but, uh, you know, it talks about, you know, technology that's coming down the road or technology that's here today, just general hearing healthcare stories and, and then other, just some other good, you know, information that is non-related to hearing aids that we pick up that we like to share with our patients and it's just a nice fun way to keep in touch with our patients and let them know, uh, you know, that we care about them and you know, give them a, a little further education on how they can help themselves you know, with hearing and hearing loss. Yeah, and fun facts in here. Yeah, little games they can play. And, you know, everybody likes those. If they find the heart inside the magazine that we hide every month, they come in a little treasure chest and pick out a prize. You know. Oh, great. So we have some fun with it. It's, a, it's been a great uh, communication and just a great tool for us to stay in touch with all of our patients. And the fun fact here is 160 cars can drive side by side on the monumental access in Brazil, the widest road in the world. Wow, that's pretty wide. <laughs> <laughs> I never even heard of that. That's interesting. I have to look that up. Um, you also uh, have something on here that if uh, you know people want to tune in to the OWN Network, uh, Oprah Winfrey Network, on Monday nights, seven and uh, ten Pacific uh, Standard Time, daylight time, I guess, daylight time until. October. Or there we go. It That's is. right. Don't forget Operation Change and see Stewart's family help change the world. What's that about? That's right. That's uh, part of the Starkey Hearing Foundation. You know, okay. there's a team that goes around the world and and they go into different countries and uh, on these missions. But while they're there on the hearing missions, they also help the communities um, with some other kind of service. You know, in in Haiti, okay. they helped a a, a man that uh, had lost his wife. He had two girls. They helped him find a home and get a job. Uh, they built another woman a house. You know, in Papua New Guinea, you know, they built a sanitation system, you know, for the people in a village that didn't have one. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in, in uh, Lebanon, you know, they, they went in and uh, built a garden, you know, in this uh, cement, you know, uh, downtown area just to bring some color and life to it. And it's oh, really nice. just about good people doing good things. They team up with, uh, you know, Richard Branson, George Bush, Bill Clinton, uh, Barbara Bush, the younger Barbara Bush. Um, you know, on different, uh, you know, Brad Pitt, or I'm sorry, Doug Pitt, his brother, um, you know, it has a, a water issue. So in, That's uh, right, yeah. in Africa, yeah. They, wells and yep, yes. they go in to help, uh, mm -hmm. you know, team up with him to develop uh, some water resources for people. It's just, it's really a good program. Very good. So again, um, Oprah Winfrey Network own, uh, which is uh, Monday night, 7 and uh, 10 o'clock, if you want to tune in to that. Finally, Ultimate Hearing Experience. Explain that. You know, this is something that, you know, I've worked on for, you know, the last two years. And we actually uh, went out and uh, looked at, you know, who really handles sound really well. Mm -hmm. you know, well, it's the music industry, right? There you um, go, yes. So we went out and brought a Pro Tools 11, um, you know, professional uh, sound mixer. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And so, you know, what we've done is just upload a lot of sound, background noise, restaurant noise, party noise, um, you know, different dialogues, different, you know, high frequency women's voices that so many people struggle with, uh, deep male voices, children's voices. We can play a variety of all those sounds, you know, while people are wearing their hearing aids mm -hmm. or while they're wearing their old hearing aids and we can put new technology on them and see how much better they hear. Yeah. So it really just gives them that ultimate hearing experience so that they can just try the different systems and see how they work. And so they know the difference. You know, it's not wondering whether things are gonna be better or not. They yeah. can really tell right then and there. So we've had a lot of fun with it too. Very good, I like that. Well, Stuart, thank you very much. Thank you so and, much. And um, great, uh, great information you bring us. And remember, you can uh, pick up uh, Stu's Hearing News over there at Advanced Ear Care. Yeah, give us a and call, a lot we'll of put fun, you on the list. A lot of yeah. fun facts and things. Yeah, you can get on the email, they can email you this as well, am I right? Sure. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you nice so much. Nice to see you again. We'll be back. Sure.